Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. We're gonna be doing a series of videos about what's in my dive bag. We're gonna be asking some of the instructors to bring their dive bags in. We're gonna open them up, take a look inside, and they're gonna tell you why they dive what they dive. I think you're gonna find it interesting. Stick with us. So this is some of the equipment that I use as a norm, and I'm gonna kind of walk through it and hopefully try to keep this video short. Yeah, right. But I'm gonna try to keep it short and give you some of the main reasons as to why I dive what I dive. And so I'm gonna start right here. This is a compact 80 steel. It's a high pressure tank. I really enjoy diving the 80s because they're short. I don't have to worry about them bumping me in the back of the head or top of the butt if I move it up or down in my BCD. I also, when I'm out diving in the ocean, then I'll use a Steel 100 of the same type and configuration. Okay, so mask. Uh, the main mask I use is an, an edge panoramic mask. And this pano mask is, for me, something that I've dove for years. I started out with the old Aqualung Panavision mask that I dove in the Navy. And this is a similar mask. I like the, the wide view. I like the black skirt. It gives me kind of a ball cap, bill sort of protection from the sun when I'm out diving. Uh, this one actually has a purge valve in it that I'm used to. A lot of instructors poo-poo purge valves. I like them. And of course, I've got my snorkel on here. Now, this is a Tusa snorkel. It, is, it doesn't have a flapper valve on the top of it. But one of the reasons I like it is it's got a quick disconnect right here so I can take it off and then I can put my mask in my, in my mask box. In addition, this is a very flexible snorkel, so easy to you know, not get beat up or broken in my dive bag. As a backup, I usually keep, this is a nice uh, two lens mask by Aqualung, and uh, I kind of enjoy it, and it's called the Impression, and uh, nice piece. I always tend to put these Velcro uh, strap protectors it makes it easier to get on and off. And of course, when I'm teaching, I do a lot of mask removal and replacement. Now, I just pulled out my booties and I'm kind of particular about my booties because I prefer a booty that actually is more of the shape of my foot than just a pointed dart. And uh, cause I've got a relatively big foot uh, I prefer a booty that's extremely comfortable, and I guess the word would be anatomical. So this is the Aqualung Super Zip Ergo, and uh, got my little name back there on the back. And I really like the way it zippers up, and then it's got a Velcro closure to help keep the zipper. Now, I'm gonna show you something on my wetsuit that I prefer. And of course my wetsuit tends to come down over the top of my booty. So kind of like that. Now in the pool, uh, I like a, a really lightweight fin and one that doesn't give me uh, any leg cramps, that sort of thing. This is a, a little older fin. It's called a Mari's Extreme. And it's got this little bendy piece in the middle and uh, I mainly like it because it's got all these holes in the foot pocket so that when I'm putting my foot in and out, I don't have that <laughs> suction, you know, trying to get the, the fin off my foot. In addition, I'm, I'm so big on bungees and this is a rubber bungee and this particular fin, the, the bungee length is adjustable by putting little spacers in there and my left foot's a little bigger than my right foot. And a lot of people say, why do you have left or right on your fins since there's no left or right? Well, I've got more spacers in my left than I do on my right. And it's just easier to do that than it is to count the spacers. So that's my 
pool thin. In open water, and I'll put a picture up here so you can see why I'm big on orange. Uh, when I'm out there diving, I like the students or anybody else that I'm around to be able to just look over there and see by my fin color. And very few people dive with orange. But uh, it, it kind of has been in the past an instructor color. And I kind of used it that way, but now I've just gotten used to diving with the orange. And it's easy for somebody to look over there and say, hey, there's Bob. Down in my dive bag, I also, and I'll get to this in a second, I usually keep a spare gauge because I dive with a console computer. And if it ever failed, I'd like to be able to just reach in my bag and pull out a gauge. So I do that. To take a look at my regulator, I use the Hog D3. I like it because it's uh, environmentally sealed. It's got a turret on it and I do dive with a yoke, not a den. That's what I've got up here. And of course, for a primary, it's got uh, the Hog Zenith fully adjustable second. And of course, I'm all about diving with a, uh, a molded mouthpiece. So it just makes it real easy. And if you have equalizing issues, uh, think about getting a molded mouthpiece. That way you're not biting and it kind of eases up these muscles so that you, it's actually easier to equalize like that. So I also, uh, for my reg, I, I dive a um, Aqualung ABS. It's a side breather. And the reason I use a side breather is that if I need to present an octo, this is already in position in my hand to pull loose and present to somebody. I don't want to have to think about turning it one way or another. It's always in the right position no matter what. In addition, I, I use a, a magnetic octo holder because again, as an instructor, and you can kind of hear this, you disconnect and reconnect your oct octo a lot. And so come on down and take a look on this other side. Um, I like the colored braided hoses. It just, uh, again, when my students see this stuff, they identify the inflator hose. And that, uh, of course, connects easily to my to my inflator here. Uh, for a dive computer or one of two dive computers, I utilize the um, Atomic Cobalt too. And some of these have had kind of a bad rap. I've really enjoyed mine. I love a color computer and it's easy to program. It's easy to work through. So I really enjoy my console um, Cobalt. And it's easy just to kind of work down, hit it, and I'm done. Now, on my right wrist, I utilize uh, an Aqualung I-200. And the I-200Cs have the Bluetooth connection now. And uh, so, and I put them on a, a, a NATO strap. So in case a pin broke, I'm not going to lose my, my computer it's still held on by the other pin in the strap. And that's the benefit of a, a NATO strap per se. So I'm gonna shift over, get this out of the way and take a look at the BCD. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions about what kind of BCD do I dive, especially since I've been doing a lot of these videos on different types of BCs. I'm a big fan of the hybrid and I actually own two different ones. This is my Aqualung Axiom. Had this for a couple of years, and it's the standard Axiom. It's weight integrated, of course, very easy and light to use. It gives me proper positioning underwater. And if you look for the, the video about diving like a fish, I'm, I'm big about that. And of course, it's got a right shoulder dump, which I really enjoy. It's got a quick release. Uh, tank strap on the back. It's got trim pockets back there, that sort of thing. And it's extremely comfortable and easy to adjust. Um, I've got a right pocket here. That's where I keep my little underwater maraca and uh, actually just a piece of PVC pipe with two end caps and two uh, stainless steel nuts inside of it. So 
works, works pretty good. Then on this side, I keep a, a, a small Aqualung knife and I like the, uh, the titanium because it, I don't have to worry about it rusting or anything. And that way I've always got a cutting device with me. Now, normally when I dive in the ocean, then in this left pocket, I'll also keep a, uh, an old CD to use as a signal mirror. And uh, I can also, uh, you know, put down here a pair of EMT shears, which uh, cut through a metal fishing leader or whatever. And it just sometimes the knife won't cut through some of that stuff. So, uh, so that's a reason I use the Axiom up here. I've got hanging a uh, thousand lumen compact light, and uh, this is just a simple twist on, twist off compact light. And uh, this one's made by Hog, and uh, very simple. It uses a rechargeable battery. They're inexpensive. And uh, it comes with a cord on it, but I take that cord off and put a clip on. And because it's a twist on, twist off, as I get ready to go in, I just twist it on, leave it on for the entire dive. And then when I get back on the boat, I turn it off. That way I'm not unscrewing it by mistake underwater, which some people end up doing. So that is my BCD. Now I move on to my wetsuit. All right, so the wetsuit, you know, that's it's kind of a, our scuba underwear and underneath this, I wear a, a pair of like compression shorts. Uh, I like the Scuba Pro uh, or Neosport uh, neoprene one mil shorts, not the ones that have the pocket, but just the regular shorts. And sometimes, uh, most of the time, I'll wear like a rash guard shirt that Aqualung, Scuba Pro, Maury's, all of them make them, and I'll wear that underneath. Now, this brand is actually a brand called Waterproof. It doesn't mean it's waterproof, it's just the name of the brand. But the features that I like about this particular wetsuit that make it super popular to me is that I'm a big fan of the neck zipper. In case I get a little overheated, I can just unzip it, pull the collar out a couple of times, get some water in there, and cool myself off, that sort of thing. I like the way the, the stitching is glued on the inside and, and double stitched on the outside. The arms are anatomically pre-bent, as you can see here and it's got some tough elbow pads on it. One of the other big things that's big for me in a, in a wetsuit is I, I love zippers. And zippers for me with inner seals, let me reach in here and grab it, with inner seals, like what you see right here, then when my arm comes through, if I'm wearing a pair of gloves, I'll just roll this back, put, put my arm through the suit, of course, and then I put my glove on, and then I roll this down over the glove and roll my zipper down, and it just helps me keep water from washing in and out, because that's what wetsuits are all about, is keeping a layer of water in there and keeping it from moving around. Your body heats it up, it insulates it from the outside water. So things like zippers are really big for me. This particular wetsuit has what, uh, kind of unusual because it's got a really heavy rubber outside knee pad on it. Not that I teach kneeling, I don't ever do that. But I like the knee pad on there in case I happen to, to bump something like a metal grade or whatever it happens to be. And of course, again, down here on the cuffs, we've got zippers with inside seals, that sort of thing. I'm gonna flip it around real quick. Back here on the back, there's a little bit of a rubber texture. It helps when you're sitting on a um, fiberglass boat seat, keeps your butt from slipping around a little bit. But I've got a nice over uh, attachment here for the collar zipper. Now, normally uh, with students, I cut these leashes off because people sometimes don't understand. If you're reaching over, pulling that zipper up, and you've got your back hunched over, it's a good way to rip the zipper out of your wetsuit. And folks, this wetsuit's like six years old. So it's in really good shape and it's probably got 
you know, three or 400 dives on it quite a bit. But when we look at the zipper here, one of the most important things in my opinion is inside the zipper, there is a water dam. And this water dam is actually as thick as the suit itself so that when it's zipped up, if water comes through the zipper, it hits that seal and it doesn't hit me directly in the back. In addition, you're gonna see that this has got texturized inside. And the reason it's texturized like that is so that, again, it stops water from moving around so freely. And uh, such a, a great wetsuit. So that's a look at, at my BCD and my dive gear and my regulator and all my stuff that's in the dive bag. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm big about a mesh dive bag. Mine's got wheels on it. I don't like carrying stuff on my shoulder. I just grab the handle and wheel it out to the boat or whatever. Makes it nice and convenient. So that's a look at my dive bag. We're gonna take a look at some of the other instructors, dive masters, dive bags, and why they dive what they dive. So I hope you look forward to the rest of this series. And again, I'm Bob Collins. Thanks for visiting with us. Hope I kept this short enough for you. Dive safe out there.